It's uh, 40 degrees at 925. Um, Pete has an 1115 in Saginaw, but he has to be there at least an hour before to get his blood drawn so they'll have the results. So we were planning on leaving in about in a little while, but Casey just called and said, I gotta pick something up at her house and take it over to the daycare for Lyra. So, Pete's throwing himself together. I, I was already pretty much thrown together. Just needed to, I don't know what I needed to do. This is a summer hat with a winter coat. I would have changed my hat because this kind of thing makes me a little bit crazy. It, or a lot crazy. But what can you do? We have to go. So anyway, I've got um, got to get a haircut. Hair sticks out. Try and keep it tucked under my glasses, but that doesn't last long. Anyway, no makeup, no nothing. We're just going... So 927, turning up the heat in here. 80 is not warm enough. Um, but it's 40 out with the wind, terrible wind last night, ripped down a bunch of our, our styrofoam and plastic, which Pete went out early this morning and fixed. And you can see most of the ice is gone, at least on this side of the street. And where I'm looking out ahead, most of the ice is gone and a lot of the puddles have been dried up by that vicious wind last night. We were supposed to have, um, let's see, winds gusting up to 70 overnight. And I'm sure we did. I mean, the sound's out here. I had my window open because I was hot. I, I just couldn't get warm. I mean, cool. I see it blew the top off a lantern across the street over there. I don't know if you can tell. Next to that empty driveway, the top is laying on the ground. So that'll get filled with water if it isn't already, and then it'll not work. Most of them don't work around here. This, It's not being taken care of like it was in the past. So that's pretty sad. But, that's the way it is. So, as soon as Pete gets out here, we'll go. Just came out here to start my vlog, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Nope, here we are at the VA, parked in front of pole number 1249. All those flags are pretty. And uh, I dropped Pete at the door. Uh, that's more like it. And, uh... Just about to go in. We got here later, so we won't have time to eat till after his appointment, but that's fine. It's fine with me. And somebody got a better spot than me. Am I jealous? No, I don't care that much. I didn't put earrings on this morning or makeup, so it's all it's all good. Okay guys, I will see you later. Bye. Hey guys, we just went in Guitar Center. Pete dropped off his mandolin because it needs to be restrung. Um, I wouldn't. Yeah. It's in a hole. Oh, I thought you were going. Whatever. You did it. No, I'm in another hole. You are. Welcome to Michigan weather. It, detro it destroys. Anyway, we're just a guitar center destroys our roads and uh, yeah let me turn you around last night we had a ton of rain yesterday all day as you saw and last night and there were tornado warnings just south of us and it was just nasty weather this is where we just came out of yeah, and there's two big holes, three big holes right behind where you back out. No wonder you kept going in holes. Anyway, um, oh yeah, so with all the, everything melting from the warm temperatures yesterday in the 60s, um, and with the tons of rain we got, some places were getting over an inch an hour, there is a lot of floodage. 
this guy's anyway there's a lot of floodage happening in in the Titabawasi River okay I'm not sure what whatever clunked so the Titabawasi River is supposed to go over flood stage but we don't know what flood stage is so anyway we're gonna go look because Yesterday, I had at least another hour of video that I did not include that showed flooding everywhere. I mean, we had tons of flooding um, everywhere we saw. We saw entire um, agricultural fields that were lakes, and we saw um, houses that were, like, sticking up out of water like islands, and we saw huge puddles. In fact... Maybe I already said this yesterday, but US 10, um, which is the expressway that runs right across from the um, campground, US 10 was closed last night because it was flooded. And we hit a puddle that was way deep, and it didn't look like a big deep puddle. It just looked like your average little water sitting there. And um, when we hit it, God was in control because we would have lost control just like the car in the ditch just passed it. So um, we were ever so thankful. Um, but anyway, so now it's gray and the sky looks terrible and I, I don't know if there's rain in the forecast or not, but I wouldn't be surprised with these clouds the way they are. So um, we're going to go over and Pete's going to drive. He, I've been driving today, but he's going to drive over to the Titabawasi River so we can look and see how high it is. Did you say it's 20 feet now? 20 point something. So it's over 20 feet. It's supposed to go up to 27 feet. Yeah, and we don't know what flood stage is. I mean, we know the definition. <laughs> We don't know what the flood stage is on that river, though. I remember what river goes through Sanford when your dad died. Or no, that was Barb, I guess. That's part of the Titabawasi. Oh, it is. In Sanford, where his dad and stepmom lived, um, we went by for the funeral. It had to be Barb because she died in the spring in March. And... The uh, whole park was gone. It was like a lake instead of a park. You're used to seeing soccer fields and picnic tables and playgrounds, and all we saw was water. So, anyway, um, that's what we're going to do now. And sorry my video was so long yesterday, but like I said, I left an hour on the cutting room floor. I just showed tons of fog, tons of flooding. I might make a clip of pictures that I took, but I saw Christmas tree farms. We just saw the tips of the trees over. They were the small trees. They weren't the full grown ones, but you just saw the tops of the trees sticking over the water. And nasty, nasty, nasty. So, all right, I'm going to go for now. I'll show you the floods when we get there. Bye. Hey folks, we're at the four corners of Freeland, and we're about to go on a bridge crossing over the Titabawasi River is right past that 30 mile an hour sign. So I'm gonna take take video right here. Wow. Look at all the trees are right in the lit lip river. The stairs are down in the river. Swampland over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that's oh, that's incredible. And we're way past the river now, and it's still flooded this far. Wow, that is freaking incredible. Yep, River Road. That is incredible. Titabawasi again. 
Wow, it looks like the middle of the bridge has got quite a dip to it now, doesn't it? Wow, this is not... Ooh, lots of ice. Lots of ice that broke up. Oh, there's Saginaw Road. I know that road. Boat lot. See the dock? Where you walk out to the dock? You guys see that out like in the middle of the river? So they haven't put the dock out, but you know, they pulled it back yeah. into the parking area. Yeah. But that's all parking area up to those trees on the left. Uh, so then that's where the um, the dock would be, is out there, along where those little shrubs are alongside the river. Uh, there. Can you drive out there? Not out into the water, I mean up to the edge so I can oh, see. Oh, this can go any place. Oh, stop it. Okay, here. This is good. Well, look at how fast that current's going. I know. That was, I was noticing that. It's very fast. And if we get, if it goes seven more feet, like they're saying it could go today, seven more feet, that is, that's, that, this would all be submerged. Yeah. So you see where the signs are right there. That's where that dock would be. Oh, those signs. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out, guys. So there's one, one on the right, one on the left. So those are the signs for when you d go out onto the dock. It's saying, you know. Right, that's where you launch your boat. So that is, the, that's the usual shoreline. Wow. No signs in real time are about like that, far from me. Wow, look at all the ice in the water. So if that comes up another seven feet, we'll have to come back out here and get more video, okay? Yep, but I don't think we'll be able to get down here. <laughs> no, we won't. But those picnic tables will be floating. That's happened. Picnic That's tables. why they're cemented down. Oh, <laughs> they're wearing cement shoes. Okay. Wow, you guys. Look at all the big ice broken up. So you can tell how fast it's going from there. Looks like some guy up there fishing or something. Underneath the trees. Oh, yeah, it does. On the At least ground. I think out he's there. fishing. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's vlogging. <laughs>